So joining us now for some insight into the state congressman, Jordan Harris. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you so much for having me. So, Congressman, before we dive into the specifics about crime in your state, I do want to get your take on the segment that ran about 10 minutes ago, where the man in Los Angeles who rammed a troop of L.A. Sheriff's County cadets already released from jail, surprising some people. You know, the L.A. Sheriff's Department saying it doesn't have enough evidence to keep him in custody. So I want to look at the video quickly. You know, it is certainly alarming. Many say it looks like this could be intentional. He is back at home this weekend, just three days after the violent act. Are incidents like these, a, a man back home after ramming these cadets, why district attorneys across the country, San Francisco, LA, Philadelphia now, they're being impeached? Well, what I can tell you about is in Philadelphia, I mean, we have an issue with crime, but so do a lot of large cities across the country. What, what we saw in Harrisburg with the uh, impeachment vote of district attorney Larry Krasner was nothing more than politics being played on the graves of the victims who have lost their lives to gun violence in Philadelphia. For years, years, Democrats uh, in my caucus have introduced bills uh, that we believe would help curb violence in the city of Philadelphia. For years, local elected officials in Philadelphia have been asking the legislature to give them more authority and more power to deal with gun violence in the city of Philadelphia. And for years, um, the Republicans in Harrisburg, in the House of Representatives, and in the Senate have not moved on all of those. So it's to, to, to try to pin this all on the district attorney is just a false narrative when we know that there have been efforts that would have helped the city of Philadelphia that the legislature just would not do. Well, and Krasner faces a state Senate trial managed by two Republican lawmakers, one Democrat. Uh, Krasner is a Democrat himself. Do you think that this will be a fair trial? Well, I think if you look at the, the if you look at the fact that there's absolutely no evidence. I mean, the 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 House of Representatives. We had our own committee uh, led by Republicans to actually do a study and to come back with a, a, a update to the legislature on what was going on in Philadelphia. Here's what I can tell you. Even that uh, committee did not recommend uh, impeachment. Um, the uh, Sentencing Commission, there's another commission in, in, in Pennsylvania, did another study. They did not come back with a recommendation to impeach. So this is uh, petty politics as, as, as usual, going to the next level to try to, uh, to try to disenfranchise Philadelphian voters who continue to vote for the policies that they support in District Attorney Larry Krasner, but also uh, a, a legislature who's had the authority, who's had the power to help to do something, but their inaction uh, uh, is definitely loud. And clear. I mean, one can definitely understand why people are so frustrated. And we were just looking at those numbers. Philadelphia's homicide rate has risen every year since Krasner took office in 2018. 560 murders last year. Um, now, Krasner says this is all politics. It sounds like perhaps you're saying the same thing. Why shouldn't he be blamed for the escalating crime? This all happened under him. <sighs> Well, first of all, blaming one district attorney for the crime that we see in the city of Philadelphia uh, is, is, is actually not looking at the whole picture. The whole picture is that in the city of Philadelphia, our schools have been underfunded for years. Just this year, we were finally able to make a significant investment in public education. In the city of Philadelphia, uh, poverty, uh, we are the largest, the, the poorest uh, big city in, in the nation. Those things have something to do with crime. Uh, so it's, it's, listen, you can make yourself feel good uh, and say you're doing something by, you know, impeaching or trying to impeach a district attorney. But the fact of the matter is we're not fooled and you're actually not doing anything. What we want is to have actual solutions, things like lost and stolen, things like universal background checks. Those are things that we know would actually help us deal with crime in the city of Philadelphia uh, and, and, and not the, the, the politics that we see, um, which is literally sickening um, because uh, the, the Republican controlled legislature has decided not to do anything. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.